welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Casey. In this week's session, we're going to be taking a look at how to display dimensions as fractions in SolidWorks. We'll begin with a drawing example. However, you can apply the same settings to a part or assembly file. In this example, notice how the dimensions are shown as decimals, which is the default in SolidWorks. To change the dimensions to fractions, you have to change the unit settings. There are multiple ways to access these settings. The first is by selecting the cogwheel icon at the top of SOLIDWORKS. This will bring up the system options. To get the unit settings, you have to select the document properties tab and then select units on the left hand side. Now another way to access these settings in a faster method is to click the current document units which is shown in the status bar in the bottom right corner of SOLIDWORKS. From here you can simply select Edit Document Units and it will bring you directly to the Unit Settings page. Once in this page, click under the Fractions column and enter a value. The value that you enter will be the denominator of the fraction. Since we're in inches, let's try 8 to start. Notice how the dimensions, which are divisible by 8, are displayed as fractions, but the rest remain as decimals. Let's go back into our unit settings and we'll try something larger. This time we'll try 32. Notice how more of the dimensions update to fractions. The remaining dimensions are not divisible by 32 so they will remain as decimals. If you use fractions a lot in your drawings and don't want to change the settings every time you're working on a new project, you can create a drawing template to save the settings. To do this, you will need to open a new drawing, after selecting the format and sheet size that is standard in your company, you will again open the edit document units. From here you again enter the denominator value you are using, again let's say 32. Then you will click Save. In the Save dialog, you will change the Save as type to a drawing template. Then you click Save. Now you have created a template that will have the fraction dimensions settings saved and ready to use. And that is how you display dimensions as fractions in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. We hope you are able to join us for next week's session. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.